Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we will be finding the locations of the Platinum Hostesses in Yakuza 0. Let's get started. The Platinum Girls are a little different from the other girls because you actually have to take over a club area in order to earn a new one. You start with Yuki and there are six in all, so each time you beat a club, you gain their star girl. There's also a seven slot that has like a silhouette of nothing. I don't know if they plan on adding DLC or not, but in the game when you get the sixth one and you go to your business tab, it says six out of six platinum hostesses. So at the moment, there's only six in the game. Platinum girls are super important because they can be your biggest earners. And later in the game, when you're doing the cabaret club, people will request specific ones. I get a lot for Yuki and I every now and then for Hibiki as well. The higher, like, the more levels they have and the more you use them in a specific area, the more likely someone will come in and request them specifically. One of the advantages of having Platinum Hostesses is that you can change their appearance. Uh, and not their physical appearance, but you can change what they wear. And this affects their sexy, beauty, cute, and funny stats. And those are keys when you're doing um, the Hostess minigame. Some people will want a specific thing and then they'll want funny. You know, they like they want high skill and they want funny, or they want talker. That's beauty. You know, it, it varies customer to customer, but you want a large repertoire of people that have different stats. For me, I tried to kind of even it out with my platinum hostesses. I would have like one that is good at sexy and beauty, and then the next one would be cute and funny. Like I want them to have two main stats and then a third good stat, and then one will normally be an axe as well. But when you have six of them you got girls filling every single gap that you have in your stats bar so that's why it's really good you can also save outfits when you're done so if you want to switch it to a different girl based upon their like talking and party stats you can do that as well it's really quick the other advantage platinum hostesses have is that you can bring them out in specialized training now these will vary sometimes they'll just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Majima or you'll go on like a mini date to karaoke pool anything like that there's a disco dance and they pretty much go all over the place the customer service is more about learning the girl's personality than anything else they will say something and then you'll have three or two options to choose from if you get the right option they'll get little hearts and their bar will fill up if you don't the bar won't fill up the more you fill the bar up the better the training session will go and the more experience the girl will get. Even on a bad session, you normally get at least one level. For the mini game sessions, you're gonna wanna win in order to get the best possible result. If you lose, it'll be a bad training. If you win, it'll be between good and perfect. It depends on how well you do. I'm not really good at pool, so I normally lose that, but the rest of the stuff, pretty simple. If you finish a girl's specialized training, she will give you a quest, and when you beat that quest, you will get her dress. That will do it for the Platinum Hostesses. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit that subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment. Check the links below the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.